Apostle Paul asserted from this text the right of a minister, amen, amen. to be maintained by those whom he ministered, amen. Yes. That's your obligation to your minister, to your to your pastor, amen. The members should be maintained by those whom he ministers, amen. amen. In addition, he must be ready and willing to appreciate and bless our leaders with our entity in kinds of money or in kinds but not a, not an obligation or necessity amen it's not your obligation or your necessity no but willingly amen we must obey and submit to our leaders not by force or impulse but carefully and freely and with joy and humility. Amen. Therefore, as revealed in the scriptures, obedience to church leaders is conditional upon their obedience to the Lord of, to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We owe our leaders in prayers with prayers. Amen. Amen. We owe them our leaders with prayers. And we yes. must do this on on their behalf regularly. So that the word of the Lord may have free course and to be glorified. Amen. Amen. How should we relate with one another as believers? In Ephesians 4 verse 32. Be kind and compassionate to one another. It says there. Forgiving each other just as Christ God forgave you. Meaning, be quick to forgive. Amen. Amen. Make that fast. Be quick to forgive. Christ's forgiveness of us is to always be the basis of our forgiveness of others. Amen? Amen. The way and manner we relate with one another as members of the body of Christ should reflect the character and nature of our Lord, Savior, and Master, Jesus Christ. This is expected as we now made partakers to his divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through desire and appetite. Amen? Desire and appetite. Our relationship must be based on love. Amen. Jesus commanded us to love one another. In Amen. fact, he says that it is a commandment. Amen? It is a commandment. We have to follow it. Amen. A new commandment he has given unto us in John 13, 34 and 35. All other actions in our relationship with others are tied up in love, which is the band of perfectness. It is because it is the only when we have genuine love for each other that our relationships can prove to the world that we are Christ's disciples. Amen. Amen. We must bear one another's burden. So fulfill the law of Christ as much as it lies in us. Let us do good to all men. Yes. Especially those of the household of faith. Another major way of relating to one another to one another is to uphold ourselves in prayers. Yes. Encourage ourselves in the Lord. Amen. And urge one another unto love and to good works. Amen. We must see to it that we assist the spiritually weak, spiritual, spiritually weak, and strengthen them to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Each of you should look not only to your own interest but also to the interests of others in Philippians 2 verse 4. Meaning, don't look to one's, don't look to only one's, only one's own thing, but also in the affairs of others. In Matthew 20 verse 25 to 27, in Matthew 25, Jesus called them together and said, You know the rulers of the Gentile, lord it over them, and their high officials, exercise authority over them means worldly greatness 
This is worldly greatness, amen? Which is opposite of spiritual greatness. In verse 26, not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant. Yes. Means the amen. believer is not to pursue or crave worldly greatness. Amen? amen. In verse 27, and whoever wants to be first must be your slave means one is giving himself entirely to one to another's desire at least that which is is scriptural amen we we see from the scripture that leaders should be servants not masters amen. they should be conscious in fact in their relationships with members of their various groups and yes. units and they must also realize that their leadership role that their labor leadership role is merely a service yes. they are providing unto the lord amen. amen it is not it is not to be an entrance for abusing the flock they are yes. to oversee amen, amen. Take, don't take advantage for your flock amen. amen that's the meaning of this only the service you provide them unto the Lord yes. it is not su supposed to be an entrance for abusing them amen? amen the leaders must never have the respect in regards to person neither should they show partiality in their interaction with those who are leading they must treat all with fairness fairness and not partisanship, not referring one to another, to another. Jesus treated all equally during his earthly ministry. Amen. Yes. He associated freely with high, with the low, with the great, with the small, with the rich, and the poor alike. Amen. Amen. Jesus did not did not select any friends here. Amen. Everybody. Amen. We must realize that before Christ, we are the same. As far as we are all redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus. Amen. As members of the body of Christ, there is a need for us to relate warmly with one another. The basis of our relationship must be love. There must be unity in the body as we fellowship with God and with one another. We are properly joined. We are properly joined together. We are one in Christ. Therefore, let us consider one another to instigate. Encourage one another to instigate and to love and to, go, and to do good. And to do good deed. It is only through his, this means that we attract unbelievers to come and accept Jesus as Lord and personal Savior. Amen? Amen. When genuine love exists and there is mutual respect for others, there is bound to be peace, Amen. harmony, Amen. and progress in the group. Amen. There Also there will be the move of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. Accompanied by the manifestation of gifts of the Spirit. In such a church, in such a church, God will in turn command His blessing upon them. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen. Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, for your wonderful words. Thank you for the for the teaching that you have given unto us, Lord. Yes, Lord. Bind us with your love. Bind us with your with your uh, peace bind us with your with joy lord Amen. that comes from you we thank you father for this uh, for this night that you have uh, you have uh, given us the wonderful message and blesses every one of us who listens to your words we thank you father for all the um, who are watching uh, all for jesus church right now lord, yes, lord. at this hour yes. i know lord they need your help right now and you know their needs Lord let it be Lord Jesus let them have it Lord 
Give what they need. Yes, Lord. Healing. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yes. Salvation. Yes. Give it to them, Lord. Jesus. Jesus. Because you're the only way. Jesus. The truth and the life. Yes, Lord. No one comes to the Father except through you, Lord. Yes. You're the only salvation of this world. Yes, you're the only salvation yes, Jesus. in our lives, Lord. Yes, Jesus. We thank you, Father. And cover us in, with your most precious blood. And protect us, Lord, under the shadow of your wings. Yes. We thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. For you have, you have already given us what we need. You have already given to them what they need, Lord. Yes. We thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen, brothers and sisters. To, truly, that we are one body in Christ. Although we are many, but we are one body. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Um, I'm, I'm going to take this opportunity to anyone who wants to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Amen. It's very uh, important. Uh, the, the greatest message last week is about salvation. Amen. Hallelujah. And praise God that only through Jesus Christ, we can have eternal life. I met somebody, he said, he said that I go around every religion he believed because he said, I want, to make an, I want to make sure if I am really saved. Maybe the other one is not true, but the other one is true. At least I, I, I believe in every religion in the world. But all for Jesus Church, it's not offering a religion, amen, but a relationship with Jesus Christ, amen. amen. And anyone who believes in Him will have eternal life. It's not like a question mark, praise God, amen. Hallelujah, if you want to receive and you want to have eternal life, you want to have a new beginning, you want to enjoy God's love, this prayer, follow this prayer, amen. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I come before you and I'm asking you to forgive me for all my sins, Lord. For I know that without you, I am nothing. Jesus, I believe that you are the eternal God, that you died on that cross for me. And I believe, Jesus, that on the third day, you rose again. I believe, Jesus, that you are now sitting at the right throne of God. And thank you, Jesus, that now, from now on, I have this eternal life. And I have this new life. Thank you, Jesus, for sealing me with your Holy Spirit. And thank you, Heavenly Father, that you have sent your begotten Son, Jesus Christ, because of your love. Thank you, Lord. And we give you praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, if you have just prayed that prayer, we are, all for Jesus Church is giving away free Bible to anyone around the world with zero cost. Amen. It means it's totally free. Amen. Don't worry about it. Just write all for Jesus Church at yahoo.com. Give your complete name and your complete address. And put on the subject, I need a Bible. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm uh, requesting the praise and worship team to come and join me. And let us sing our victory song. Amen. Who is our tower? Our God, Jesus. Amen. For the Lord is our tower, and anyone who runs to Him, they will be what? Safe. Amen. For the Lord is my tower, and He gives me the power. Yes, hallelujah. To tear down the works of the enemy. Bye. 
the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face toward you and give you peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. amen. Praise God, brothers and sisters. We'll see you on Sunday. Thank you for being with us. Take care. God bless.